Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to implement quantum circuit that compares two positive numbers. I'll present my new algorithm that takes 40% less number of qubits than currently known algorithm. Comparing two single bit numbers is simple. In this case, A is less than B if and only if A is 0 and B is 1. A less than b can be written as a boolean function a bar times b since this function is not invertible we need an additional qubit to store the output the following circuit uses a not get and a cc not gate to compute this function now we move on to compare numbers that require more than one bit to represent Suppose the binary expansions of A, and B, are written as follows where each A I, and B I, are 0 1 bits. Consider the following example. Notice that the first 4 bits are the same in both the numbers. The fifth bits are unequal. Bits after this position do not matter for comparison. This suggests the following expression that evaluates to the comparison of A, and B. Either the first bits are unequal, or, the first bits are equal and the second bits are unequal. Or the two bit numbers are equal and the third bits are unequal and so on. We construct the circuit that implements this equation. But instead of using the previous circuit to compute OR, of two bits, we use the following circuit. The advantage with this circuit is that it stores the equality information of the bits on the second qubit. Notice that we can repeat the last C not gate to get the second bit. This circuit uses the following identity for equality whose correctness can be easily verified. Since this circuit will be repeatedly used, for simplification, we denote it as A the following black box. We need another ingredient for the final circuit. Notice that in the above expression, the less than term is never repeated. To save space, we reset this qubit to zero using the following circuit. This circuit is based on the following expression which we verify now. Again this circuit will be used repeatedly as well. Hence for simplification. We denote it as the following black box. There is one observation left. Consider the expression for less than. Say the third term is true. Then the previous terms must be false because they require that either first or the second bit to be unequal. Similarly, the later terms must be false as they require the third bit to be equal. This implies that instead of using OR, to connect the terms, we can use exclusive OR. Hence, we can replace V by O+. Plus. Now we are ready to describe the final circuit. The circuit is shown for 3-bit numbers but can be generalized to any number of bits. We compute the expression term by term and store the values on the target qubit for the first bit comparison. First we apply the comparison gate on each bit pairs. Then we use cc not gate to compute the second term and XOR it on the target qubit. Now that this value is no longer need. We use the reset gate to set it back to zero. 
Next we set it to the product of A1 equals B1 and A2 equals B2. We apply this idea to the next bit pair as well. This completes the description of the circuit. As for each bit comparison, we use 3 qubits, the circuit uses 3 n qubits in total. The previous algorithm uses 5 n qubits. Hence, this circuit uses 40% less number of qubits. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.